the least risky thing you can do to live a fulfilling life mm. is to take risk. Oh, okay. Yeah. So here's Love the thing. The, the, the main thing is people get into a situation and they're like, oh my gosh, should I, should I step off the cliff? Should I make the leap? Should I do this? And it's, this is a risk. And I could, sure, something good could happen, but something bad could happen. Okay. And the things that you don't say are that, oh, if I do nothing, then I'm safe and everything will stay the same. Uh, I think, you know, I mean, my goodness, people in your, you know, in their 20s to 30s now, I mean, they lived through the financial crash. I mean, two financial crashes, right? I mean, 2008, Mm -hmm. 2000, and now there's a pandemic. There's there's a (laughs) land war in Europe. The world is is crumbling. (laughs) And so, so, you know, the, the thing is, is, but from the time that you're really young, the risk decisions are, and no one talks about it. They're, they just assume that if I don't do anything, everything's going to stay the same and I'm safe and nothing will change. And what we found is, is that is never the case. That's essentially, it's actually even worse where if you do nothing, things are going to change that are out of your control and that you can't Mm -hmm. predict because you think everything's going to be the same. Right. And what we found was, is there's, there was no downside to the risk. Okay. So when we had these people, I mean, you know, this woman, I mean, it's, it's, she was a survivor, but I mean, pregnancy, ninth grade, I mean, ninth grade. And then, you know, abusive husband flees the situation. She ends up surviving and taking all this risk after all of this, where she ends up being one of the largest, uh, you know, really prominent tech firms in kind of like a, uh, it's almost like a Airbnb for, or, um, for jobs and, Mm -hmm. you know, kind of like the Uber, Uber eats, but for businesses wanting to find Mm -hmm. people working, she's just done such an incredible job. She got shown that the world doesn't stay the same. You think you're going to be, you're going to go to ninth grade and then you're going to go to 10th grade and you're going to take like geometry. (laughs) And so she got exposed really young that, oh, like the, life goes off course. So that's the risk paradox. It's basically understanding that taking risk when you go out there, I mean, that doesn't mean just go off and jump off a building or do dumb things. But when we're sitting there and we're all scrunched up and worried, and should I do this or should I not? You get through lots of things. Oh my gosh, why do I want to do this? There's money, there's whatever. I mean, there's lots of different things, but the baseline underneath all of that is if I do this, it could go well, it could go poorly. If I do nothing, I'm safe. And mm-hmm. that's such a critical thing that people don't think about. We, we were like, that's the most important thing. That's the risk paradox, that actually taking risk, you will learn. You yeah. will learn about yourself. You will learn about what's important to you. You will learn how hard you can work. You can learn how you're going to behave when things go well and if you become a total jerk. And you're going to learn about if things don't go well and if, you know, you need help and if you're going to cave and if you really liked it. Yeah. Basically, you, you're you always going to gain something when you take a risk. And if you don't take a risk, you think you're staying safe, but actually you're like, you're not changing, you're not growing. Right. And, and the world changes around you and you might be in an even worse off place than if you were to take a risk. Look, we didn't, I didn't do anything. And Russia invaded Ukraine. <laughs> I didn't do anything. And there was a pandemic and the world shut down for two years. I, you know, reality in the world isn't going to, isn't going to be safe and the same. So at the end of the day, you know, a lot of these, we, we, there are some people in the book that were in their thirties, mostly were 40, 50, 60, seventies, you know, et cetera. But no one ever regretted it. I mean, there was a guy, mm-hmm. he, I mean, he almost, these people, they almost go bankrupt. They, they, their hair falls out. They, they have all these horrible things. And a hundred percent of the time they're like, that was really good for me. I learned so mm-hmm. much. I'm a better person for it. <laughs>